Technical development gives you the opportunity to explore exactly how your design will operate. You need to consider joining methods, materials and processes. For the seat, planks of timber are held onto the frame with two screws. This is to allow them to be easily repaired or replaced if damaged. I have added gaps between each plank to allow rainwater to pass through the seat. You need to think about how you can make the product better for those using it. The seat joins onto a frame which is then secured onto the main structure. This will make the seat more stable. Detail is essential in technical development. Include sectional views showing joining methods such as screws or nuts and bolts. Here I have added a lip to hide the join between the top cover and base. This improves the aesthetics of the seating. You must justify each and every decision you make with your design. You must remember your specification throughout the development. Here I have shown how the chair is bolted to the ground to prevent theft. The planks can be removed to gain access to the bolts in case the seating needs to be removed or repaired. It is important to consider all design factors when developing your design. Here I have looked at function in terms of removing parts for repair but I have also considered safety here by adding wooden ends to hide sharp metal edges. As you work through your development, you might need to do further research using the internet to help figure out how aspects of your design work. Here, once again I have referenced the design issues. The cup holder can be removed for cleaning or repair. As long as you justify each decision you make on your design and make it relevant to the specification, you will gain marks. Try to avoid doing all the technical development on the one page. It should be a continuous process throughout your folio. I have done it all on one page purely for demonstration purposes.